Hello and welcome to the Podlands YouTube channel. Today we are travelling to Doncaster. Donny Dome, to be more specific. Yes. To go to the gaming convention. You want to call it a gaming convention? Market. <laughs> gaming market. So we're after the gaming market right now. So we've got a few things in mind. We are here to just grab what we really can. Um, last time we went, there wasn't a crazy amount of stuff for me, but I do have something in mind this time. So Jimmy, I am looking for an actual Sega Mega Drive cartridge of the recently released Xeno Crisis from 2019. Wow. Very specific. Wow. Very specific, I understand. But we'll see if we can get it. Jimmy, what are you looking for today? I've got three things. Three things? What three things? Okay, so first of all, Destroyer nice. for the PS1. Nice. Um, I don't really... I want more mint condition, the better. Um, I am also looking for a random Funko that we're gonna go for my room. Right. I've got a few that can maybe tie you with it. Oh. And this is quite a bit of a shout, but I'm looking for a PS2 Guitar Hero Flying V controller. Oh. They are ridiculous on eBay, and I'm thinking they might be even more ridiculous here, but let's go see if we can find Hey ho, it. let's see what we can get. Let's crack on to Donny. And now I've got to fool myself. So we did finally get to Doncaster after a cheeky little sing song. We must apologise for the vocals and Oliver's very stern face. So yeah, we got into the building and had a look around. It was pretty full, to be honest, as we got in there. As always, you expect from these game markets, everything to be crammed in. So many games, so much cool stuff. So the first thing we did as we got into the venue was have a whip around obviously we paid it was two pound entry we didn't just sneak past for free two pound entry we had a little round and just had a little bit of a scan of the area didn't look interested in anything first and then we went round again and it was at that point we started making our purchases for the video game market in doncaster and the first thing we found when we was at the Donny Market was a Stranger Things 1000 piece puzzle. I had this specifically in mind for my wife for Christmas because we're currently watching the program. She's really into it and just looking at it, it's very, very, very detailed. I think it's going to keep her happy for at least a, a good couple of weeks. Um, the artwork itself it attracted me to it and it was only £16, which was even better. And as the little man was getting a bit stressy, I found him a little cheeky squirtle plushie for literally £5. So my first purchase of the day was a coaster. As you can see, there's a, a variation of PS1 games. Pokemon was there, the WWF, but I went for the Resident Evil 2 coaster. As you can see, this guy's a little bit creeped out by my excitement for this coaster, but yeah, quite good detailing. Something that I can put upstairs on my gaming desk to get rid of that horrible ring that when I have a cup of coffee, it, it creates a ring. So obviously this will get rid of that. And you can see the details quite good. Nice little print now, it's had a bit of plastic, but for me, for three pounds, it was a steal. As you can remember at the beginning of the video, I did say I was after a Funko and there was plenty of Funkos to look at. But as me and Reese was walking past, we found a tiny tiger Funko from Crash Bandicoot. It was well hidden, it was right at the bottom of that shelf. And I don't even know how I spotted it. But as soon as I saw it, I thought this is going to be perfect for my collection. It was mint condition, brand new, in the box, and it was only £7. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to get it. And I ideally thought it was going to be absolutely perfect with the other ones I've got. And while I was paying for this Funko, I did find Simpsons Road Rage in a little box and it was only £6, so it was a bit of an impulse buy. I was after really hit and run, but I did enjoy Road Rage when I was a kid. I thought Reese would like to stream it, so impulses told me to get it. As you can see, my next purchases was from this very, very vibrant figure store. This is more up my alley. Not a massive collector, as you all know. So yeah, this was perfect for me. I had to go back and purchase what you can see I'm super excited for, the Marvel game, and a bootleg Xbox controller. The Xbox controller is something I've been looking for for a while. I don't really want to go out and spend another £60 on a normal controller, so this bootleg for me was perfect. Comes in at just £30. Now, normally these are quite a bit more expensive than £30, but this one, the quality is quite good, actually, when I got out of the box and got it home. I'm super, super happy with with what I bought. I didn't think I'd find this anywhere. I've looked on eBay for a while and I just couldn't find the quality that I could finally find at the Doncaster Dome. And then moving on to the Marvel game that I found, I'll be going one-on-one -on -one with my friend Adam on this. We absolutely love Marvel. So yeah, 500 card quiz. See who will become the top 
Trump and this one came in at a very reasonable 9.99 so I'm excited to get into these buys. And as we walked around, we did see a very, very cheap comic book stall. As we was looking through, there was a few strategy guides. And one thing I actually loved to see was a San Andreas strategy guide. And it was only £3. Quick flick through, fully there, quite good condition. Looking around, it got all the maps and everything you need to get through the game. Since it was just been re-released, I thought, might as well get it. Might come in handy one day. And at £3, it's not going to break the bank, is it? Obviously, I spent a bit of money now, and this is where I spent a lot more. Found a little stall. These guys were really cool guys, and they did me a deal. Everything you're going to see now, I got for £90, which is absolutely fantastic when you see what I've got. So the first thing I spied was an or original bootleg steering wheel and pedals for the PS2. Compatible with the PS3, it did have a £10 sticker on, but I got it basically with a bundle. First thing I thought was, hey, this can go well with uh, Simpsons Road Rage. The next game I did buy was a Devil Dice game for the PS1. Very rare. I can only remember playing this on a demo when I was a kid. And I have been after it for quite a while now. As soon as I saw it, it piqued my interest. Nice little price tag to it. And when I looked, it was a rental. But I went for it anyway because I don't see these games like this anywhere else. Along with the Devil Dies game, I did spy Pandemonium 2. Very vibrant, original copy in really good condition. Disc, manual, cover, the lot. It was absolutely perfect. And as you know, on the channel, I, uh, I'm a bit of a mark for the original Pandemonium, so I thought this would be perfect to add to it. And finally, if you can remember at the beginning of the video, I said I was after a Distrager copy for the PS1, and I found it. Very, very rare. Sadly, once again, as soon as I picked it up and looked at it, it was a rental copy. But for this purpose, uh, I do not care. It is a very, very rare game I haven't seen in a while. I only once again played it as a demo as a kid. As soon as I saw it, I knew I'd have to get it. I can proudly say I own a Strager now. So there we have it. Everything we have bought from this year's video game market in Doncaster Dome. If you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for our weekly videos and live streams. But until then, we'll hopefully go back whenever they come back. And if you do want more haul action, then be sure to check out what happened last time we went in March 2020. We have been the Pad Lads. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.